Hey guys, welcome back. We got another uh, Icarus build here. I am Ryan with uh, Rhino Gaming. And today we are doing the Preservation Stockpile Cured Meat Run. Um, pretty easy, um, but it gives you six days. And, you know, with all my videos, I spend most of my mission time building the house <laughs> instead of actually doing the mission. So, um, if they, since they took off the, uh, the real life timer, you know, I pretty much have an endless time to do this. There's really no rush. Uh, but yeah, we got another completed one here. Uh, just kind of give you an idea of where we're at. You're right here. Uh, I like this spot because it's kind of like one of the higher spots and it's just kind of like, you know, one of the better views, I think, in the desert biome. You know, some nice something to wake up to. Thought about doing it, doing it over there by the, uh, the big waterfall, but uh, there's not many big caves over there, so kind of been a little bit annoying having to do a lot of walking. So I just kind of settled with here. Um, considering it kind of like a little desert oasis style build. Um, you know, it'd be nice if the trees kind of stuck around, but you know, with the storms, they all fall down. So, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and knock this one out. So I start off with building this little border wall here, because um, you know, with the bet with the desert biome and the updates they did, uh, scorpions. Oh man, freaking nuisance, man. Not a big deal because you can outrun them, and if you get far enough, obviously they they you know turn around. Um, because they're not activated anymore, um, but still, you know, they're just showing up randomly up in here, and I can be like, you know, from here and over where my little, uh, building over there is, and they'll see me, so it's, it's just super annoying. So I went ahead and built this little, little border wall here, um, to kind of, like, prevent that. Um, so yeah. Let's go ahead and get started. Hopefully the storm doesn't hit. Um, yeah. Try to make it like, you know, kind of like Oasis looking. Kept the wood. I thought about doing the uh, the cement. But, nah. So I love a good entrance. Try to make it kind of tropical looking. You know, like if you're at the, you know, in Hawaii or something. I kept the plants to kind of give it that little palm tree vibe, you know looking so that's a good entrance all right again how we do it rhino gaming uh, always a big house build always try to do it with realism as if somebody lived here so yeah a little front room area always love a big and open Plants die. I guess they added that for whatever fucking reason. But it is what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, these look like sh uh, you know what? They look like shit before. So I'll go ahead and uh, just for gee whiz, <laughs> a little something something. Um, yeah. So front room. Turn these little lights on. All right, kind of living room, kitchen, and open area. In the desert biomes, I, I love doing big glass building walls. You know, I just love the vibe of it in the desert area. Always love a big, big open kitchen. Nice little outdoor patio up here. Always love a good view of my builds. If you've seen all my videos, try to find the best build I can. Never really like, you know, building like a, a house like uh, under a mountain, like, like over there. Because 
you know, I'm doing a, if, I play solo a lot, so I'm doing a lot of stuff by myself. So if I'm having a go run off like forever away to get a certain type of material or something, I have to fight something, and I have to come all the way back to the house. I just love a nice, big, beautiful house to come home to, you know. Makes me enjoy it more. Always adding a good stairway to get up a hill. I hate walking all the way around the mountain or little area to get up. So, nice little ease of access, especially if you're doing a big build. All right. And just again, yeah, the border goes all the way around, so it keeps all the animals out. All righty. I was of the kitchen. All right, got another back door patio out here. This is mostly just for looks. Um, obviously, for the water rain reservoir, <laughs> doesn't rain in the, <laughs> in the desert biome, so it's kind of pointless. But again, I go for realism, so figured I'd add it. And then the drying rack is. Oh, hold on. I actually need this. All right. Yeah, nice little patio. And then also, like the reason I like this spot is it's pretty much right next to a, a water source. It's like again playing solo. It's always nice to have, you know, nice little ease of access to stuff. You know, if you're playing with a group of people, anybody can go and like, you know, fill up stuff or get this or that. So. Something to think about if you're playing by, you know, solo. Alright. Uh, so it is like, like an oasis, tropical vibe, so... I didn't really wall things off too much. I did, I do like a little sectioned off look, you know, so it's not just a giant space and just put stuff in places. So it is kind of sectioned off, you know, for that homey look, so... Nice little walk around area. Put all my tools. I usually like it next to the door, so it's just something I can hit on the way out, but I don't know this build liked it over here. Okay. Come to the second floor. I like the little overlook. You know, if you have all my builds are essentially if multiple multiple people are here, <laughs> you know, whether it be like teammates or family or something, I don't know. You know, think of Icarus how, how, as you will. Um, you know, if you if you saw my the big build I did with the uh, the um, the hospital compound, definitely recommend checking that one out. My biggest build. Um, I built it as if you know multiple people were there, living there or working there, so. It's kind of one of those builds. Um, yeah, just something like I, I like with, the, you know, using the little side wall pieces. Oh, of course. All right, not bad. You know, got a little creative with that around the fireplace. I, I like how it turned out, especially for light sources. Um, the taller you build it, you know, the less effective the light is. If I put it up here, it's pretty much useless at that height to have any light down here at night or even during the day technically you know depending on what biome you're in so made a little lower worked out great yeah I liked it it's all about how you use the pieces I love that they added to where you can put the animal uh, things on the on the fireplace wall now love that okay uh, so up here is the bedroom. Gotta have a bedroom. <laughs> kind of went for the master bedroom <laughs> or a bed. Uh, so put two beds together. Hopefully they let you customize this, you know, some way or other. Maybe you can like add like a certain pelt as like the blanket or something. It is really bland how they just added just a little mattress thing. Like at least on the uh, on the uh, I can't remember any of the names. Um, the, uh, the bed roll. It kind of looks like, you know, a pelt of some kind. There's just like a mattress. Like, hopefully you can customize that. Uh, yeah. 
Nothing too crazy with the bedroom. Just for like luxury purposes, you know, I love a good fireplace in the bedroom. You know, especially with the big builds, you know, to obviously to sleep through the night. Can't be too far from a fireplace, so I figured I'd go ahead and put one here. Again, love a good glass wall view. Just for a luxury look. Oh, uh, yeah. Got a little sloppy on the wiring this time, but yeah. If you like one little, one little, I guess trick. If you do like to, you know, kind of keep the wiring hidden. It's like, for example, uh, this wiring goes up into the living room area. As you can see, oh, it d disappears, and then kind of disappears up here. Using the if you use, if you keep the log look. Trying to blend the wiring because it is black. Blend it in with a log if you can. So, you know, to the you know naked eye, you can't really see it. So, something to think about. Again, the dying plants, always depressing. I'm alone on Icarus by myself. I can at least <laughs> let the plants stay alive, keep me happy. I don't know. All right. So that's essentially the main house. Maybe went a little overboard on the foliage, but I don't know. Let me know what you think of that. Is it too much? Yeah. Alrighty. So I'm moving on over here. We'll get to this in a second. <laughs> uh, so like always, keep the uh, generator placement away. So... You're not hearing this sound the whole time. Just nice to use the poles to go to the buildings for that connection. Alrighty. Uh, so, big build means big workshop building. You know, I try to mix it up when I do my buildings. Obviously, there's only so many ways you can <laughs> build a house in Icarus since we can't, like, put the put the walls or anything, like, on a 45-degree axis, you know. There's only so many ways you can make a square. <laughs> so, uh, get creative with the, you know, the, the uh, ramp, woof, or roof, roof uh, build. Um... Yeah, nice little small, concise, little double decker, loft style. Yeah, always love a good uh, glass uh, slanted roof, especially when the sun comes down. The light uh, really brings it out. So then coming around here. Upper floor area. Love a good little hallway, glass wall walkthrough. Okay. What is this? Welcome to my yoga room. <laughs> so, you know, obviously, you're in the desert biome, so you're not getting vegetables or plants almost of any kind, minus the squash. For whatever reason, only squash, I think, are in desert biomes now. I don't know. Um, so, want to do something with glass. 
because there's a big open space in the middle here. Just wanted to kind of fill. So I just thought of making a little yoga room. So I tried to do a little zen out. Look. <laughs> Looks kind of relaxing. So, you know. We'll set the lights and then obviously simulating the bedroll as my yoga mat. <laughs> so. Do a little namaste. You know. You know, you gotta, you gotta get creative in this game, you know, if you, if you do big builds. I'm, I'm not one to, like, just rush through all the missions, make a little 2x2 two two structure, cram all my materials into something, and, you know, finish the mission in, like, 20 minutes or something. So, get creative. You know, some missions I'll do a yoga room, other missions I'll do an entire hospital compound. Um, you know, I'll do greenhouse some type of greenhouse is another one you know a little something something uh but yeah I think that's about it <laughs> nothing too big <laughs> obviously big is subjective but yeah That's my, uh, desert oasis. Oh, this motherfucker. You know what? For all you people who hate scorpions. Ugh. Yeah, dude, shotgun shots don't even kill this thing in one shot. It takes two. What the hell? See, ya. that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for stopping by for this video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, you know all that. And uh, I guess stay tuned for the next one. We'll see where the, uh, the world of Icarus will take us next. So until next time, my peeps. Keep building. Have fun. Catch you later. <laughs>